Well, hello. As you can see, I'm not mum, but I will say hello, my gorgeous, wonderful peeps in mum's universal world of peeps. Welcome to Mama Cherry Channel with me, Kat, substituting filling in. And I'm on the camera. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, people. Right, so as most of you. <coughs> you right, mum. Go on. As most of you probably do know, and if you don't, I've just got out of the hospital. I've spent a month recuperating in a two month recuperation period, so I've still got a month to go. So I'm trying to show you that you can do really simple and delicious meals in a slow cooker that's not going to be labour intensive, so it's not going to wear you out. Can you sort your apron out, please? Oh, it's a little bit crooked. There you go. Sorry. That's it. Is that better? That's much better. What does it say? It says. Mum say what? Don't, don't bin it, it, spin it. And a prime example of don't bin it, spin it is this. I'm making chicken burritos. Now this recipe, a lot of people tend to use chicken breast. I'm not a fan of chicken breast. I find it dry and I find it expensive. I much prefer thigh. It's just got a lot more flavor. Now being the savvy person that I am, I decided to buy the thigh on the bone and skin it and burn it myself because that way it saves me three pounds. So, this is all the skin and the bones and the thighs. Mm -hmm. Now we're not going to bin it. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna turn it into a chicken stock. Perfect, see this is what I'm talking about. We don't waste nothing. So this way, boil this up for a little while get a delicious chicken stock. I might throw an onion in there, actually. Okay. And then I can freeze it and use it whenever I want. Okay, go on, you carry on so with anyway, the recipe and we'll come recipe. back to that. So. What are you making? I'm making slow cooker crock pot chicken burritos. It's my daughter's favorite recipe. This is one that her stepmom makes for her in Canada, but this is my spin on that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season the chicken. Now, I'm gonna cheat because I can. So I've literally bought a taco seasoning and two different ones just to get that Mexican feel. But first, Great. I'm going to use Mama's uh, Soulful Blend, which is what was our Cajun seasoning. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that first just to coat the meat. Because, I mean, this has got a lot of the, you know, the flavours that these blends have got. But I really do want to have a Mexican feel, which is why I am going to use... Arriba, arriba! packets as well. So this is just a, a, a taco seasoning mix. You can get these anywhere. I got this in the supermarket. Esta picante? It's a medium. It's a medium. Okay. So what does picante mean? Picante means hot. So I mean this is literally, this has got what? Chili, salt, cumin. It's got everything that your <laughs> Cajun seasoning's got in it. It's pretty except, much. Except it ain't got the love. Ain't got the love that I put in my blend. <laughs> okay, great. So, let's see that. Packet. I'm going to use that whole packet. Let's see, you're going to massage that in? Of course I'm going to massage it, it in. My mother taught me well. You've got to massage it in. Put that love into it. Put that soul into it. So I'm That's turning it. into you, Mum. We're spending far too much time together. Good. <laughs> oh, that smells really good, actually. I'm not going to bother with that. I don't think no, I don't think it. you need it. I was going to say, it doesn't look like you need it. No, this is enough. This is plenty. So that was one packet, that was it. So, I'm gonna place the chicken into the bottom of the slow cooker. Now, it would be an idea if you wanted to, you could do this in advance and marinate the meat if you wanted to, but to be honest, I decided at the last minute that I wanted to make this and the kids wanna eat it in the next four hours, so I didn't have time. So, place the chicken in the pot, the crock pot. Get all of those spices in. Okay. Next, I'm going to add. Uh, uh, can you? Can I just give you a suggestion? Take your onions, drop them into that same Ooh, pot. Yes, and get that flavor. So that you can get the rest of that seasoning. Thank you, Mum. We don't bin it. We spin That's it. A great idea. So okay. this is just onions and garlic, just roughly chopped. Doesn't have to be pretty or fancy because it's all going to cook down. So just pop that on top. Next, I'm going to add some peppers. I've got some red, yellow, and orange pepper here. Yeah, so I'm just going to pop some of those in. And then we're going to put in a can of black beans. Oh, nice. Okay. And it really does need to be black beans. Just buy these tin. Drain the, the liquid off first. Don't put the liquid in. It's just the beans that you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then two cans of chopped tomatoes or plum tomato. One of these is chopped and one of these is plum. Really doesn't matter. So just pop 
pop that in like that. It's going to squidge that a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Break it up. And that's pretty much it. I think I might put some pepper on the top and maybe a little bit of coriander leaf. But first, I need to wash my hands. So. Okay, well, don't, well, before you do that, why don't you actually push your hand right down into that meat? Actually, that's yeah, it. Just yeah, to absolutely. turn it. Yeah. Because what you don't want really is the meat because it is on the bottom and that's where the coil is. Mm -hmm. We want it to really cook evenly. Yeah, there you okay. go. Right. Good on you. Although there is lots of liquid in there. Oh, so I know there is. I know, yes. That shouldn't be a problem, Mum. I just wanted you to massage. All oh, right, you wanted me to get my hands. I just wanted you to get your okay. hands dirty. Oh. <laughs> what Delia massaging sensually the meat. Ooh. Oh, Girl, you go easy. We're gonna get you a husband. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should just continue. Just massaging the meat. Forget Ted. Come on, a mama. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Right, okay, that's me done. Okay, right, that's it. Wash these nasty hands and plug it in and that is it. Oh, right. I'm going to cook it on high for about four to six hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. And then we'll come back. Probably Ellis will do the next bit because mum will be home by then. Yeah. Just showing how, you know, with the wrap, how to wrap it into the burrito with the, cool. with the onion and everything. All right. And stuff. Good one. Really All right. Wash my hands. Go wash your hands. Disgusting. Yeah. I'm going to need you to film me doing the last bit of this video with the... Um, Show you how to back the burrito. Oh, the burritos. You can put your burritos together. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cause cool. I All right. And here we go. This is boiling up. So we're just going to add some seasoning. Just a touch of seasoning. Okay. What seasoning do you want? All right. Can you put some of my Polish seasoning in that? Turn that down a little. Turn bit. it down. Do I have any of your Polish? Seasoning? Yes, you do. At the bottom, my Polish. Um, yes. Yeah. Do, yes, I do. You do. Yeah. Just put some of that. It just adds to the chicken stock. Yeah. So we're just making a little. The other side would be great. Is that enough? Yeah, I'm sure that is. Yeah, that's it. And it's just to give it some flavour. I forgot right. even existed. <laughs> I was like looking for my oil earlier. I couldn't find it. Yeah, it? there you go. Excellent. Okay. And then we just give that a stir down and we're ready yeah. to go. Okay. All right. Lovely jubbly. We come back to you in a mo. Right. So, Ellis, this has been cooking for about four and a half hours on low. Why are your I hands think it's ready. My hands are, you know why my hands are what? purple. Tell the people what? to me. So I dyed my daughter's hair and her friend's hair purple Cousin. Today. Cousin's hair purple. Okay, can I, can I show them? I want to show them my hair. Just quickly. That doesn't. It's not really turning out, but you can see it in the light. Right, Ellis, this isn't about you. This is a cooking video. Can you turn it back around? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now the reason, the reason why I am taking it out of the sauce is because you don't need all the liquid. No, you don't. For the burrito. Ellis, please be quiet, darling. Up on me. Thank mm. you. So, we're just going to take this out and then I'm going to shred the chicken. Okay? So, you can pause it, please, sweetheart. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pouring off a lot of the excess liquid because you don't really want to have a wet and soggy burrito. This is quite tricky, actually. So, I'm just going to get that pulled off. And then we need to shred the chicken. So, as I said, this has been cooking in the slow cooker for about four and a half hours on high. Um, yeah, and it's ready to be served now, so that should be okay. Right. Now, the way I like to shred the chicken is to use a couple of forks. Now, can you go on to the... Thank you, darling. This chicken's been cooking for such a long time that it's so tender that it just... Yeah, you don't really have to do much of anything. It just kind of shreds itself. So shred this so this is pretty much it next part is to show you how to wrap the burrito yeah, nice so my daughter Ellis is going to show you how she folds her burritos because okay. it's her favorite dish okay. so what do you do so you kind of don't want to put it like all over the place you want to put it in the middle okay so that's the chicken yeah I like a lot of chicken I'm like a big fan of having the onions with it okay so if I have to have Ellis that's quite a lot sweetheart is that gonna fold yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then what do you put in? And you put in the black beans. Like, the black beans are optional, like my mum can't eat them. Yeah, I won't have I won't have them. She can't eat them, so that's a lot. Yum. Don't judge my like <laughs> Ellis, Ellis, that's a ridiculous amount of black beans. Are you really gonna eat them? Yes. Okay, alright. And then you put your lettuce in, if you want lettuce. You can put like sour cream and stuff on the side, but we weren't really gonna eat sour cream, there's no point wasting. Okay. And then cheese. Okay. Cheese, yeah. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be nice and then you guys actually have some. Oh right, thanks. Thank you. 
everything that's around all that bit on. Yeah. Okay, so now what you want to do when you fold it, you, wanna, don't, you don't do like that, or else you're going to all fold out. Right, so. that bottom part. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have double water, like if you want to have it so it's like both, mm -hmm. you can fold them both like that. Mm -hmm. I just tend to do it like this. Okay. Do that. You can just take, I'd recommend taking the black bean one. Yeah, okay, and pushing it in. And pushing it in. Okay. And then... Well, you can just use your hands. That is a fat burrito. <laughs> you haven't met me if you, don't think, if you think I'm not going to make it fat. Expertly rolled, my dear. And then you have the top. Mm -hmm. you, if it stuff comes out, just take it off wherever it's come out. Okay. Say I'm not too and then take a bite and tell me how it tastes. Make sure you blow the knife. Then, yep. like that. Okay. Did you get any chicken? Mmm. <laughs> Did you get any chicken? Mm hmm And how is it? Is it good? No. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Ellis. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to turn it round now. Like that. Okay, so, there is my slow-cooked uh, chicken burrito. There you go. Um, I'm not going to sign off like mum because I'm not mum and she's not here, oh, she's I'm at home. Know, but I'm going to see Ellis so she can sign off like mum, so I'm going to turn it back round, okay? Go ahead, my lovely. To a whole wonderful world of peeps, a little love, a little soul, a little mama. That's not it. Yeah. It's peace, love, and soul from the mama. Do you want to try again? Okay, a lot of peace, a lot of love, a lot of soul from the mama. Okay. <laughs> Say goodbye. Peace out. <laughs>